Do you know what the largest organ in the human body is? Yes, it's skin. You might have figured that out from the title of the video, but uh, I'm pretty sure the moment you hear the word organ, skin is not what first comes to your mind, right? But it actually happens to be the largest organ. Let's dive into this topic. In this video, we'll be talking about skin, its structure and functions. Skin is the outermost covering of the body. It's a waterproof layer that protects us from the outside world, right? It has a thickness of about 0.5 millimeters to 4 millimeters. Now, the thickness of skin varies depending on where the skin is taken from. Let's say you talk about the eyelids. Skin at the eyelids is very, very thin. And skin at, say, your arms and legs, they're relatively thicker. What do you think skin weighs? You want to take a guess? You can pause and think about it. Skin weighs 6 to 9 kg in an adult. So that's approximately, you know, 10 to 15% of the adult human's weight is just skin. Let's now dive into the structure of skin. So this is what skin looks like. So this is the top surface layer. And uh, the top few layers together are called epidermis. The epidermis helps in protecting us from the outside world, protects us from sun rays, wind, dust, infection, all of that. The next layer is the dermis. And then we have the hypodermis. Let's uh, go to the obvious ones first. Here's the hair. You can see it. So skin has hair at almost every part of the body except the palms and the soles of our feet. The next part that we're going to look at is this coiled up structure here. What do you think that is? That happens to be a sweat gland. Sweat glands are what produce sweat. And then the sweat once produced moves to the skin and comes out. Now, why do we produce sweat? Is it to stink the human body up? Actually, no. Sweat has a very important role in cooling our body. Wait a minute, how does sweat cool our body? Usually, don't we sweat when we feel hot? Actually, that's what's happening. The moment your body is heating up, sweat starts getting produced and sweat contains water and water cools down the body. Imagine sprinkling water on your face. Doesn't that feel cooling? Sweat is also primarily water and so it's able to cool down the human body. Next let's discuss this gland here. This is the oil gland. Our skin produces natural oils which prevent it from scaling or uh, becoming rough and it also lubricates the skin. This uh, yellow stuff here, this is fat. We have a layer of fat in our hypodermis and this layer helps us by insulating us from the cold and it also protects the joints and bones from damage if we fall down or hurt ourselves or something like that. This thing here is a nerve. Let me highlight all the nerves here. So these are basically the nerves. These are what carry signals to the brain. The tips of the nerves right there that are connected to the surface of the skin, these are called the nerve endings. Nerve endings are what collect the signals of touch and take them to the brain. So they help with sensing. Okay, so let's summarize. What does skin do? Skin protects, skin helps with regulating, and skin helps with sensing. These are the three main functions of skin. We'll come to one more in a short while. It protects us from infection. It protects us from sun rays. Skin is waterproof, so it protects us from water as well. What does it regulate? Mainly regulates body temperature. How does it do that? We just discussed. It does that with sweat and fat. And fat. Yep. It senses touch, and that's one of the important sense organs for our body. The last uh, function that we're going to talk about now is synthesizing vitamin D. Vitamin D is a very important vitamin for calcium absorption in our body. So it indirectly helps us with maintaining strong bones. And skin manages to do that because it absorbs vitamin D from sunlight and synthesizes it. Have you ever looked around your class and wondered why different people have different skin color? The answer lies in something called melanin. Melanin is a chemical which basically makes your skin darker or lighter. The more melanin you have, the darker your skin becomes, and the less melanin you have, the fairer your skin becomes. Do remember that skin color doesn't really determine who you are. It's just the amount of melanin in your skin. 